hidden charge could cost you hundreds of dollars more for health care, but avoiding it could be as simple as asking one question. That's it. WMAR 2 News' Mallory Safaste tells us about the new bill to notify patients and why some consumers say that just does not go far enough because if it matters to you, it's a matter for Mallory. A buried charge in medical bills. They're in essence deceiving the public. We found that hospitals aren't telling them. Hidden uh, health care fee called a facility fee. For Mike Speranza, the line item said medical care. He'd already paid the physician, but then came a second bill, this time from Sinai Hospital in Baltimore. Even though we never set foot in Sinai Hospital. His wife, a two-time cancer survivor, received treatment at a physician's office next to Carroll Hospital. Not being able to associate the fee with a specific service that we received was unnerving to say the least. In a different case, a patient who normally saw his rheumatologist in the suburbs instead went to the University of Maryland office building on South Utah Street. The appointment lasted around 15 minutes and consisted of a brief discussion. He paid his usual $20 in copay. Then two days later, another bill. From the University of Maryland Hospital billing system in the amount of $1,684.80. My copay was $166. For a facility fee, even though his appointment was blocks away from the main hospital. I went to an annual eye exam. That's it, an annual eye exam. Two months later, I receive a bill itemized as other diagnostic services for $1,100. $41.33. We think what we were seeing was just the tip of the iceberg. Year after year, the Maryland Attorney General's Health Education and Advocacy Unit receives complaints from patients blindsided by these fees. How can hospitals justify charging patients this additional fee if they're not on the property of the hospital? You know, that's probably a question you should ask the hospitals. We've been asking it. I mean, it, it does seem unfair. The Maryland Hospital Association says they care for all patients, regardless of their ability to pay. And just like there's overhead at your regular doctor's office, they too need to be able to offer 24-7 care and specialists. The practice is legal and authorized by Maryland's Health Services Cost Review Commission. But the complaints stem from a lack of clarity what's considered at the hospital, and why are the fees in some cases so high? Consumers are thinking, I'm not in the hospital. I'm in the professional office building, either right there next to the hospital, or in some cases we had consumers that were seen in facilities that were blocks away from the main hospital, or certain floors can be deemed at the hospital, but not other floors. The proposed solution is to tell patients about the fees before their appointments. House Bill 915. Right now, the General Assembly is considering the Facility Fee Right to Know Act, which gives notice at the time the appointment is made and how to avoid the fee by seeing the provider somewhere else or choosing someone else. My wife loves her physician. Uh, one could suggest uh, this, this uh, oncologist has saved her life. But for Speranza, the warning isn't enough. My message to the legislature is it's not about communicating the charge. It's about finding another rider, another vehicle to um, pay these charges. So why not eliminate the fee altogether? We certainly raise that option with the General Assembly. Kimberly Camerata with the AG's office said they presented that option in a Senate committee hearing in November. But after their Facility Right to Know Act bill died last year, their goal, at a minimum, is to require notice. Choosing the path of least resistance, hoping to end the practice by educating consumers. We reached out to the Maryland Hospital Association for an on-camera interview, but they were unavailable. Last week during a committee hearing, all parties said they were closer to compromising on amendments to get the bill through this year. In the meantime, if you're making an appointment anywhere near a hospital, ask, am I going to be charged a facility fee by the hospital? You also have the right to get a written estimate of hospital charges before receiving treatment. And the agency that regulates facility fees said they've also changed how much hospitals can charge for facility fees and have assembled a work group to review the practice in the future. We have more information on those charges and where to go to file a complaint about a medical bill on our website, WMAR2news.com slash matter for Mallory. And if you have a matter for Mallory, she wants to hear from you. Email her at Mallory at WMAR.com or find her on Facebook and Twitter.